Pain control after tonsil surgery is an important topic given how common this surgery is. Furthermore, pain control directly influences post-operative complication rates, mainly dehydration and bleeding. With poor pain control, a patient will not hydrate as well as they should, leading to a dry throat, which further exacerbates the pain. With a dry throat, it increases the risk of bleeding, just like chapped lips can lead to cracked bleeding lips. Historically, ENT doctors prescribed Tylenol and narcotics exclusively, and lots of it, which unfortunately led to narcotic addiction, overdoses, and in some rare cases, even deaths. In an effort to walk the fine line between adequate pain control and risks from narcotics overuse, we will go over current protocols used at least in our office. Keep in mind that there will be slight variations between different ENT offices in how pain is managed. Thankfully, in the vast majority of young kids, pain can be sufficiently managed without any narcotics using only Tylenol and Ibuprofen. The typical suggested regimen of pain control is to alternate between Tylenol and Ibuprofen every three hours. For example, initially give Tylenol. Three hours later, give Ibuprofen. Three hours later, give Tylenol. And so forth. Unfortunately, in adults, tonsillectomy pain will be vicious and can last up to two to three weeks. Adequate pain management is correspondingly much more aggressive and requires several prescription drugs. The goal is not the elimination of pain, but rather keeping it tolerable enough to allow swallowing. The pain protocol in adults is as follows, Neurontin 300 mg three times a day regularly for two weeks. It calms down the hyperactive pain nerve endings the same way it calms the brain down from having seizures. Tramadol 50 mg twice a day regularly for 10 days. This drug is considered a class 4 controlled substance unlike heroin which is class 1 and morphine which is a class 2. Think of it as a very powerful Tylenol with narcotic-like pain control. I also do prescribe a small amount of narcotics, like hydrocodone, that should only be taken, if and only if, the Neurontin and Tramadol are not sufficiently helping the pain. As such, a narcotic should only be taken sporadically if at all. Magnesium supplement 400 mg 2 to 3 times per day, may also be helpful to decrease pain by lowering the amount of the NMDA neurotransmitter in the brain, which is responsible for pain perception. A beneficial side effect is that it also helps prevent constipation which commonly occurs with pain control medications. Whether in kids or adults, do maintain hydration by constantly sipping on water or sucking on a popsicle to keep the throat moist and to stay hydrated. Use a humidifier if the air is dry. Good luck!